Hello, Taurus. This is your June 2019. Okay, getting right to the start of it. Taurus, those of you who are single, Taurus, I feel like you've been waiting for a bit. Uh, I feel like some of you <clears throat> have been having fillers come into your life, meaning people uh, coming in and coming out, meaning a date here, a date there, nothing too serious going on. Some of you, I do feel like... Um, there's been a group activity going on, whether that's you hanging with a group, doing things with a group socially, going different places, maybe traveling. Um, I also do feel like there is a lot of people in the Taurus family that is definitely working on vacations uh, or promotions. I keep hearing promotions as well. So where your work is, is included here, I do feel like a lot of yous are feeling the either need to move up or the um, desire to take on a more or bigger challenge uh, where work is concerned. I also feel like you would be very good in a different position. Taurus uh, also feels like money, coins, pentacles are all around you. And I feel like this is, again, work-related and financial. Financial security is coming. So if you've been struggling with finances recently, I do feel like finally you're going to be able to start contributing to your savings once again, getting something back to where it used to be back to a level uh, of security where it used to be. I'm also feeling like there is some type of rescue here. So whether um, you rescue someone, a friend, a family member from a certain situation, or um, you may even be rescuing yourself, finally realizing that you deserve something different, something better. It feels very strong for Taurus. Um, also, too, I feel around the office. So those of you who work in the office, I do feel like there is a lot of gossip going on around there. But I feel like you try to keep to yourself. You try to just stay focused on what you need to do. And you try not to get into that uh, gossipy shit, because I do feel like one person in there is an instigator only because they feel insecure. They feel like someone is trying to boot them out, so to speak, or make them look bad. So whoever that makes sense for. I also feel like somebody may be, um, binding, like a binding, maybe involved in a binding contract or maybe signing some type of contract, some type of an agreement. So whoever that's for, whether that's a new lease on a property, whether that's uh, something to do with work, um, whether that's even a life insurance policy, somebody may be updating something, renewing something. Um, I also feel like some of you who haven't had the chance to even purchase a life insurance policy, that now is the time. Get it done. Now is the time. Uh, for some of you, I do feel like there's going to be uh, something going on where the house is concerned or the home is concerned. So whether that's having major uh, work done, somebody may be doing electrical work or somebody may be having something done with electrical because the work I see is within the walls. Some of you may be removing mold or some type of debris from the walls, whether that's on the outside or within behind the actual uh, drywall. So maybe taking out insulation and putting something new in and cleaning the area very well with bleach before you do so. I also feel like somebody is getting engaged because I see fiancé, fiancé. So for Taurus, I am definitely feeling like there is a fiancé around. I'm also getting the temperance card. So this could be a Sagittarius. This could definitely be uh, your guardian angel around you. Some of you may be seeing the 111, the 333, um... Uh, and other numbers 444 four, four as well. I feel like some of you are the Queen of Wands. So what I'm picking up with the Queen of Wands, uh, that card comes up clearly for you and it feels like, yes, you may have a cat um, or you may have some kind of pet that is looking at you and trying to give you messages, so to speak, because I do feel they are very spiritual, especially the cats. Um, I'm feeling that you're sitting very strongly in your position. I feel like you're waiting for something to happen or to come. A lot of you are going through a transformation right now. So so you are feeling that something is coming towards you. You're not sure what it is. A lot of you are trying to figure that out. A lot of you feel like you need to go in a different direction. And I hear something about your granny or grandma. So whoever that is trying to connect with somebody on the other side. I don't feel like your grandmother is here in this world. I feel like your grandmother is more in the spirit world. And I feel like somebody is trying to connect with her. And I keep hearing granny. So whoever says granny. Um, me, I say grandma. So... Uh, or I'll refer to her as my gram. But uh, granny is something different and unique. So whoever says that, that is who I'm speaking to. For some of you, um, I do get the Six of Swords. So for some of you, you have either taken yourself away 
uh, or moved out of a certain position. For some of you, you may have decided to go another route, go another avenue. For some of you, this may have been your partner who decided to leave and go to another destination. For some of you, you are traveling on the water, um, and this is where you will be going, to another place that is quite opposite of where you are currently. Um, I also feel like some of you are definitely uh, experiencing a feeling of the two of swords, trying to make a decision about something, unable and unsure, not quite positive of which way would be best, whether you're talking east or west or north or south, but I do feel like some of you are trying to make a decision, again, between two things, to places, to people, to things. Oh, my nose hurts. So whoever that's for, I do feel like it is very, very uh, important for you to analyze the situation better, to write down your pros and cons of, if I make this choice, these are the pros for it, these are the cons for it. If I make that choice, these are the pros for it, these are the cons for it. And, and whoever is in your immediate circle, be sure that your choice or decision if it is going to affect someone else's life, whether it be your partner, your family, your children, whoever that is, make sure in your pros and cons that is listed as well. Okay? It's not something that can be done very quickly. You must take your time when you're doing pros and cons in order to get the right answer for yourself. For a lot of you, it's a five of cups, and that is somebody still having regrets about the past. So I feel like this is a very strong uh, card here because I feel like a lot of you, a lot of you are focused on the damage that was done to you from the past. A lot of you are still looking at what you've lost instead of paying attention to what you still have to work with now and what you can build up from now. A lot of you are still wanting to get back something from the past, whether it's that person or whether it's material things um, or maybe it's finances, money. Uh, but I do feel like a lot of you are struggling with something from your past and, and focused on it very strongly. And again, in, in the past, a lot of you, and it is upside down, so in the past, no longer, but in the past, someone had uh, mistreated you in a way and possibly had a third-party situation. Somebody definitely was not honest with you about everything, but I do feel like you're finally coming to... Um, terms with it. You're finally accepting something for what it was. For a lot of you, again, you are juggling either your finances or you're juggling a decision. When I spoke of the two of swords before saying you had to make a choice or decision between two places, people, or things, now I get the two of pentacles cards. So this is showing me money. This is saying you're trying to choose on what to do with your money or how to balance your money out. Some of you have more to pay than what's actually coming in. So you need to go through your things and feel and to see what you can feel that you can cut down on whether it's your cable package, because you're not watching that much television anyway. So why are you paying 180 to $200 for a cable when, in fact, you can reduce that by half because you're never really in front of that television? So why pay it if you're not there? just doesn't make any sense just because you want to say you have it. But for what if you're not using it, okay? For some of you, messages are going to come in very quickly because I have the Knight of Swords card. So with your Knight of Swords, this is fast energy. This is always, for me, fast movements, somebody coming to you quickly. So if you're waiting for someone, an ex-partner perhaps, to come and reach out to you, connect with you, communicate, text, social media, whatever, they will. They are. And give it two weeks. See what's happening. Because I feel like something's coming in very quick. Or, or if it's not your partner, there is a message, news of something, coming in really fast for you. And you're going to find out what that is. I also feel like you have new beginnings and fresh starts. So for some of you, if this is relationship related, I'm not saying it is, but if it is, then you have a chance for the universe to help you to have a new start, another chance at something, to try to rekindle the flame that was once there. Um, I do feel like that's very positive for a lot of you. And again, a confirmation with the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is showing that somebody is being very generous to you. They want to share something with you. They're opening up to you. They're, they're bringing you into their world, so to speak, where before maybe they weren't. A lot of you may be holding on to somebody from the past. Okay, you still might be holding on to somebody that from the past that was very toxic for you. Their energy was not good for you, whoever this is for. 
Okay, this is not for all of you, but you'll know if you had somebody that was very toxic, abusive, verbally, raising their voice at you all the time, maybe putting their hands on you, maybe just degrading you, maybe making you feel less than, maybe not wanting to be intimate with you, not giving you the um, energy or desires or love that you needed. Somebody was not doing what they should have done. Somebody was so busy and focused on other options that they had at the time of your relationship. I feel like that's why things couldn't work out because they didn't put 100% into you and to them. All right. But I still find you being the queen of pentacles. So you're in charge of your money. You're being very strong, male or female. You're being very strong. You're holding things down. You're paying what you need to pay. You're being responsible, and I think that's amazing. June is going to be very good for you financially. You're going to get things paid up. You're going to get credit card bills paid off. I do feel like with the moon card, you're definitely going to see things for what they were, and I saw this in another uh, reading as well, so you may be linked with that person. Um, it could have been the Virgo reading that I did, but I do feel like with the moon card, you're going to find out what went on in the dark is now going to come out to the light. You're going to find the truth out about a situation which is going to make you feel a hell of a lot better and feel like you weren't losing your mind and you weren't going nuts, that that really was occurring and you knew it. You had that intuition. Trust your intuition because you knew it. All right? Some of you have been playing the hermit, trying to stay still, trying to just be home. Go to work, come home. Go to work, come home. Not go out, not socialize, not be with your friends. You, you, somebody's just feeling so bad or so alone and, and so sad about so many things that you're not wanting to go out. You're, you're almost making yourself be punished. So you're kind of punishing yourself in a way, and, and that's not good. You, you need to get out and break out of this cycle, okay? So that's what I'm hearing for June is that you guys, Taurus, need to break out of a cycle, okay? You need to try something new. I also feel like there's going to be a lot of strength and love around you guys. So be prepared because I think that this is all going to balance out for you. Your last card is the Page of Swords. And with the Page of Swords, you're going to give something another try, another shot. But I feel like it's going to work out for you and it is going to be to your benefit. So don't give up. Don't be afraid. Face your fears and welcome in new changes. Welcome in new people. Okay? And get the hell out of the house. Stop staying it to yourself. Stop not being around other people. You need to change your mood and your direction, okay? Start listening to some positive affirmations, and this will help you and guide you so that you can be well on your way and prepared for what's coming in July. All right? So, Taurus, that is your June 2019.